Nope, okay, Rico's gone. No, Rico! Rico! You're the worst! You I hate you! No, I hope your burrito falls on the ground. He just did us so dirty. Would you expect anything else? No, he's the worst. Unbelievable. He had me doing like this, the round him up thing. How did I fall for it? I don't want to talk about Such it. Such shenanigans. Pick the up. momentum was so strong. The momentum was strong, Nick. Oh, oh, oh God. Oh. Oh, stop. Oh. No. no. Jay, please. It's only the second quarter. It's not the second quarter. It's the second quarter. So what's going on, what's chat? Going on? <laughs> How you guys doing in the chat? Can we put on a replay of the last game? <laughs> How are we doing in the hey, chat, hey. boys? Gun, gun. Hey, hey, gun, gun. Hey, express, express. Oh, man, that mini Mike Twan game, though, that was something special. I mean, that was worth the trip alone. Like I said, uh, Mike and Vin have just been, you know, good friends of mine for a long time. They've come from one of the best families I've ever met. They're just such good people. And, you know, to see Mike out here rocking and growing up in front of our eyes, that was awesome. And, Hey, see Tuesday, Pretty Boy Tuesday, make Tuesday. the comeback, man. That, that is super cool, especially for an old school cat like myself. I mean, Tuan was the guy that I grew up watching. Right? You know, a guy like me watching Madden Nation season one. That's where you wanted to be. Those, those were the guys, that was the level you wanted to get to. So to see him, you know, be able to do that back then and come back now and look strong, that was awesome to see. Oh, God. Oh, uh, OK. Sure. Devontae Freeman into the end zone. So. Right. Oh, boy. Well, we have some free time. I have something I, I need to settle within the chat. Not Madden related. Sure. But I, th I, th I, think, we, I think we have some breathing room in this game. I saw this debate earlier in the chat. What finale was worse? The Dexter finale or the Game of Thrones finale? Give me one for Dexter, two for Thrones. Which one was worse? I'm going one with Dexter. I got one all day. It's all day. I, it's not even that close. Dexter for me. I, I no disrespect to Dex. Listen, I was disappointed by the GOT finale, but I wasn't actively angry. <laughs> yeah, the Dexter got a little out of line, in my opinion. Yeah, look at this. I got ones in the chat all over the place. All right, Monkey's so, got to calm down. One and two. Yeah, they're going in on Dexter. A couple of twos right there. I love giving the chat little topics, man. I love that they engage with us, too. Big dog. You guys are awesome. Yeah, yeah. All right, we need another topic. <laughs> should, should Rico Williams come back on broadcast? One for yes, two for yes. Rico, he's, 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 he's got coming. food. He's got a hot dog. I think Rico's got a burger, no bun. Oh, no, that's just beans. Beans and chili, you... S what are you... I'm not sharing an Uber with Rico later. Pass. Pass. Beans and chili. He's going to turn into Papa Don. And that stuff's been sitting there for a while. You sick, sick, sick puppy, you. The desk now just smells like chili it's and beans. It's not brand new. You're not going to tell me it's brand new chili. I, I, I just saw it in hours ago. Guy Bobcats in the chat. What up, Bobcats? Remember him? I believe it was the Rams Club Championship. Appreciate you guys coming through and supporting. If you were just joining us, you just missed a great game between Pretty Boy and the, Mini Mike. They the were, great game. The great game that we've had all day long. But don't worry, folks. I, we've had some rough games today. But you know what? That's going to happen in group play in an open tournament. But you better come back and join us tomorrow for sure. 48 players, single elimination. We're going to cut it down to eight tomorrow. And you're going to see some high-powered matchups. That's going to be fun. That is going to be a lot of fun. And then we get to the final eight. We get to give and away that, and, and once you 25K. Get to the, and here's the thing. Once you're in the final eight, Nick, that first game is to get in the money. So that first game for $2,500, if you don't win, you go home with zero. And those games, not only the single elimination games, but the games to get into the money, those are always special. So that's going to be a lot of fun 
on Sunday. We're going to have a lot of fun on Saturday getting down to those eight. And for now, you just got to bear oh, with us through oh. the 49 to 6. Five of 17, 173, and five interceptions with a minute 41 to go in the first half. Anarchy says he's popping tomorrow. Hopefully he pulls out that pistol playbook again. Look at Rico. What a guy. Rico coming through, br brings his cast as a beverage. There's, there's not vinegar in this thing, is there? It's just straight vodka. It's nice. Nice. Bedmart says it's a close battle right now between this guy's completions and interceptions. Damn, Sage. I don't feel comfortable with Rico chomping on a hot dog next to me to play the beans and the chili. The hot dog isn't the concern. It's the beans and the chili that he says is new, but I believe it's been sitting there for hours. Is that I wish fake the, news? I wish the stream could get a picture of your plate right now. I appreciate it. I, I'm concerned. Remember when he made fun of you for chorizo and he sits here eating a hot dog saying, next to you? He, Rico thinks that we're hammering on him about this chili. I'm genuinely concerned oh. what it's going to do to his stomach. We ain't hanging out tonight. You and Jay can hang out. Well, Jay Bird's looking to put a 50 burger on Sage, Sagey F Baby or Sage YF Baby, unclear. Either way, nobody's calling him baby right now because he's down 49 to 6. G Sal's asking if this tournament's sponsored by EA. No, I believe it's affiliated, but it's really a dream hack tournament. It's all dream This hack. isn't an EA tournament, it's a dream hack tournament. Big shout out, by the way, to our sponsor, Chipotle, for making a lot of this possible. TNC Salty says, RG, we got to make tourneys have no age limit, please, for me. I know the MCS is down to 16 years old. I don't know if there was an age limit for this one. Hey, express, express. Play. There was no, there was no age limit in this tournament, correct? Let's go. He was like, he was naming everybody. He was like, so he could play. So he could play. It is now. This one was 16. You had to be 16 for this one. 55 to six. Hang in there, Here, and, and by the way, if there's one person who doesn't need to be dropping 56 on somebody in the first half. It's Jay Bird, who's already got a confidence problem. <laughs> he's going to feel like he's the best player here with 56 points in the first half. 13 to 17, Gaming Authority says, you could have played in this tournament 13 to 17, but you need a parent signature set on the DreamHack rules board. Well, thank you, Gaming Authority. It's very nice of you to share that information. Nick Mazesco, RG. Former friend of the broadcast, Rico Williams. Really? Yeah. I haven't seen Rico son run so fast away from broadcast. I will give it to Rico. He is a senior member of the Spluce Gang. And if anybody would be able to put down He's just going to tap on some it. terrible He's looking beans and chili, chili <laughs> but be able to bounce back and have a strong performance at dinner later tonight, it's my guy Rico Williams. He, you don't become a senior member of the Spluce Gang by tapping out for the good dinner. Picked off. Here's all I'm saying. Whether or not you think it's going to do something to Rico's stomach, I'm saying it's a bold move eating beans and chili with a light shirt. <laughs> He's now stretched out. I saw him want to flip that plate back at what? Him. Watching Rico put down this beans it's and chili uncomfortable. is uncomfortable. I hate to admit it, more entertaining than this 56 to 6. Does he drop 60 it's before the It's still the second quarter, Nick. Do we got some reruns of MASH we can put on? Dude, chill. <laughs> chill, dog. Yo, I come from, got him. Yo, I come from the era of when MASH came on that TV late at night. Dude, MASH It great. meant it was time for you to take your butt to bed. That's how you knew it was bedtime. Once MASH started coming on, Alan there Alda. ain't nothing else coming on, bro. Go to bed. Hey, let's go. I can't believe you said MASH. I'll watch this all day over going on to the... Am I lying? You know what I'm talking about. You're around that age. I mean, I, I, yes, I know exactly what that time is. Mash comes on the TV later. It's time to go to bed. It's, it's bedtime, guys. It's bedtime. Anybody that's in my age range, I know they can relate right now. Second and goal. 16 seconds left. 
We saw a game that proved why open tournaments are great. We're seeing a game why open tournaments, now well, they're, not, they're not the best. Hey, if you kill it, motion me out. Lay down! Half time. <laughs> 59 to six. Rico, this is all Rico's fault. He's the one that set us up. Yeah, he did us dirty on this one. He set us up, the fake hype, and then he went and fleed to go eat Dude, some just, very low tier. He just now smells like beans, beans and, chili. and chili. Get Put the headset back on. Get, get back over get here. Get back in here. No, you're not getting the chair. Okay. Rico's getting the chair, man. Wow. Good for Rico. He can have the chair all he wants. What a bully. What a bully. Age before beauty. You need this chair? No, I'm good, sure. Those cheers you may hear in the background, they're not for this game. 59 to six, wave three action, right? Is that what we're looking at? Yes. Final wave of the day. Appreciate everybody's hung out with us in the Twitch chat. Appreciate everybody who's watching out there in DreamHack. Hope you're having a wonderful start to your weekend. What a better way to start the weekend. A little competitive Madden. What are you guys thinking, Chad? Is Jay gonna put up 100? Six of 20, 189, and six picks. That's rough. It's like a pick six, it's just a reverse. Six picks, pick six? It's a lotto. I can't score 59 points like ever. He did it in the first half. I don't think I scored 59 points combined this season. I could be playing my sister and not put up 59. All right, call it right now. Does Jaybird score more points than the Atlanta Hawks, with these Falcons, and the Atlanta Hawks did in their last game they played? I have no idea what they scored in the last no. game. <laughs> I guarantee you the Hawks. <laughs> Hawks scored more. They, they scored more. I mean, low in a basketball game is like 80. So that's minimum it's the 80. NBA. I'm going to guess it was, an, it was a, it's about no 110. It's he even makes it to 80. Tell me what it was. Look it up. <laughs> he's, 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 he's looking it up. Mahomes. Chugging it deep. Got Tyreek Hill. Chat, we got fantasy football coming up. Not too far out. We really need to get in our fantasy league. I'd have to talk to everybody and league? see. We got NFL players, former NFL players. We got some college All-Americans. And we have a couple of girls. And it's so trash talking, so phenomenal. It's just ridiculous. I, um, I've become spoiled in the arts of fantasy football, and I, I no longer join leagues unless I can have Donnie Moore as my co-commissioner. Uh, oh, yeah. Donnie's got to be the glitch, right? As long as I get Donnie as my co-commissioner, I'll sign up for whatever. Donnie, Donnie's got to be the glitch in, in fantasy. We, we did pretty well 107. Last year. Yeah, no way. Yeah, no way. But guys, in the chat, who, who do you guys got? Who's the, okay. who's the number one pick in fantasy this year? Patty Mahomes. No way. I don't, no well, way. I think you don't take a quarterback, 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 quarterback number quarterback one first. pick. Who do you guys got as the number one pick in fantasy football? And knowing me... Being a somewhat fantasy football guru, just because of the win percentage, I'll likely have the number one pick because I get lucky with those type of things. So I need to know this stuff. Top pick. I'm going Gurley. Gurley? I don't trust his knees. That's oh. a terrible. Just, just remember, you heard it first here. That was a terrible. Saquon, we got some Julio. Never. Who, are you now? Here's the thing. Are you in a PPR league or no? It said Mahomes be bold. That's uh, yes, funny. I'm in a PPR. It's PPR. League. I, Ours is a PPR. I league. like PPR. I don't take Julio because they don't throw to him enough in the red zone. And it's not PPR. It's just too running back heavy. Here's my question. Maybe out in New York. The Atlanta Hawks put up 85 points against the Bulls on October 27th. He's fighting a random. Oh, game. actually, he's this is the beginning. The, I'm he's sorry. not going to get the 80, Rico. I'll make it that easy for you. He's not going to make it to eat. April 10th is right there. It was, one, it was 134 was his last game. Does, does Jaber get to 134? No, but he is going to get another touchdown here and put up 60. What is that, 64 right now? 65? 65, about to go up 66? I guarantee 80. My guy Stu Diesel, he's saying the Julio Matt Ryan stack. It's not a bad stack. I had Ben Roethlisberger. <laughs> Antonio Brown and James Conner last year, and they took me. Did you win the championship? No. Do you know why? Because I cut Derrick Henry 
right before. He put on right his three touchdown that week. Put, and, I picked him up, didn't start him that week because he was horrible all year. They're asking, oh. they're asking for the bracket in the chat. Do we have, do we yeah, have a command? At, uh, All right, at, you got to go to dh.je slash Madden Dallas. Once again, that's dh.je slash Madden Dallas. I don't like when Rico goes into his host voice. Makes me uncomfortable. Stu Diesel's getting mad at me. I guess I didn't pronounce the name correctly. Stu Diesel? I don't know how he says it. My bad. I, I've butchered a few names. People don't realize that Boogs... The Bugs name is because of me, because he had a different name before Bugs, and I butchered it so badly at the first tournament I ever casted that I saw him at. And uh, after that, he, he kind of was just like, you know what, you just called me Bugs. So I, I take credit for the Bugs nickname. Thanks a lot, Reggie. Did we ever get to the bottom of the beast mode, Mac? No. Where it came from? Yeah, I can understand, like, least mode or something Ooh. like that. Ooh. Jeez, Ooh. No, no. Respect, no, 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 I don't mean it from... Uh, a Madden perspective. I mean it from a personality hey, perspective. Hey, 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 hey. I'm a guy who likes bread. I'd pull <laughs> East mode. Hey, 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 hey. Oh. Yeah, how do you like it? It hurts. Hurts, don't. Uh -oh. Hurts, don't it. Terrible, Kenny. Terrible. That's, that's terrible. <laughs> Rico really Nick. is the uh, Charles Barkley of Madden. I, I'd call him that. <laughs> yes. He could be the Barkley. You're playing we, we, like a knuckle. What we need to do, I liked what Ernie did on that show when they started keeping track of all the ridiculous stuff that Barkley would say. That way we could audit it at the end of the year. I feel like we need some, I feel like we need a Rico tracker. I'm all for it. Fourth and 10. Oh, God. Screamer. Deion Jones. There's no way he doesn't break 80. What do you guys got in the chat? Is Jay Bird okay, breaking 80, 80 points or not? Here we go. 80. Five and a half, the line is, over or under. 85 and a half. Give me an over or an under in the chat. Under. I'm going under. I mean, you're crazy. You're not that I'm crazy. Going you're not that crazy. I'm taking the over. You're not that crazy. I think you said our last game was going to be a double-digit game, so I don't. I want to go with the Rico pick. Okay. I have, I'm up two burritos already. Actual the, CC, my guy, the YouTuber, actual CC, thanks for joining. He says talk more food, less Madden. So okay. Go, go on about your burritos. No, no, I'd like to wager a burrito over. and a half. There's a the lot over. of overs. There's a lot of oh, this. I love overs. the over. <laughs> They're coming in on the over in the chat. Look at this. <laughs> no way. Jay, Jay Bird, kill Jay the clock. Jay, get into 100. Jay, kill the clock, please. No. Do not listen to them, Jay Bird. Pony Montana just joined this stream. He said, what is going on with this score, man? 21. KFC or Popeyes? Soccer ball. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is that KFC, a stop, 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 stop. I don't know who might be a future sponsor, so I'm not really going <laughs> to. Just stop. Just stop. Yeah. Stop all your... We can have this conversation after. But you know what I'll tell you? When Chipotle added queso, it was a game changer. I was, I was, on, I was, on, I was on Chipotle pre-queso for sure. Yes, absolutely. So was I. First of all, let me give a Touchdown! shout out. I got to give a shout I out to my sister. University of Maryland, 2003 is when she introduced me. She was the first person. She's the Christopher Columbus of Chipotle. She discovered it, <laughs> but it was already there. And the other people were going in. But she was the, the trendsetter. Can't have him around anymore. <laughs> Good job, Derek. We, we got a, a question in the chat. How many people showed up? And you know full what? They've had the full 96 person bracket filled here in this tournament. And there was plenty of people on the waiting list, which Again, very go, encouraging go, go. to see from Matt, competitive Matt, in this time of year that we can fill up a 96-person bracket at a live event and still have people trying to get in. And not only that, we have 96 with a wait list. And think about the names that aren't here. Yeah. Like, and they could have been here. You could have had the Skimbos. You could have had the Dreamies. You could have had the Kids. Kids. You could have had the Bows. Could have had the Problems. Zombie. You could have had Pavin. Could have, yeah. All of them. Yeah, yeah, a lot, a lot of names out here. Joe Wright. I don't, I don't, Joe Rice. Joe Rice. Is there a train running through here? Is there a drum roll? That'd be a drum roll. Pick. Oh, he caught it. What is that animation? I I don't know if I've seen that. I've played a lot of Madden 19.
Force up in the chat. It's only a 60 point game. Who knows what'll have it? Five minutes to go. <laughs> the over is. Hey, 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 the hey, thing hey, that's hey. crazy to me if. Left, left, if I'm left, Sage. Left. I don't think Sage scores a touchdown here, by the way, just so you know. But if I'm Sage, I'm just bouncing on y'all. Like, this dude, I ain't gonna sit here while this dude tries to put up 80. Like, I'm out. Yeah, he tried to figure he doesn't score a touchdown prediction go right there. I'm telling you, I don't think he's gonna score a touchdown here. I, here, can we make these, like, second games interesting and let me go sit next to the guy who's down by 60 and interview him in the middle of the game? What's, what's your thoughts right now? That would be funny. Speaking of an interview during the middle of the game, one of the greatest moments in Madden history. This is the 06 game when we were in Hawaii okay. at the Pro Bowl. No, it's 07. Is 07. Hey, hey, it's no. Madden 07. I know it's Madden 07. It was, yes, I'm sorry. It was Madden 07. The year was 06, though. Yeah. Twan is playing secret at the time, I think. Chow. Chow. He's playing Chow. And Marshall Falk comes by, and me and Marshall Falk are doing an interview. He scored. Twan and Marshall Falk actually got into it. Mid game? Yes. He tried to play Marshall Falk for a sack he took. But, uh, Ooh. I, I, and he joints the extra point. I wasn't there, but according to Chow, the way the story goes is Twan's backed up on like his own one yard line. And as soon as he snaps the ball, Marshall Falk goes to ask him a question. What are you doing on this? And Twan gets sacked and takes the safety. And if I'm Twan, I'm pissed too because. That was the Madden challenge. It was a hundred thousand dollar winner take all tournament. You've been working all year for it, and I got some guy that makes millions of dollars just casually interviewing me in a clutch play. I was there. He was getting sacked regardless. <laughs> there was no. Are you sure? I'm positive. Chow was giving him the benefit of the doubt that he, he feels like this because the sack went for Chow, and the way he tells me the story is, uh, Marshall Falk helped him out on that one. And I'm telling you. No. <laughs> and the best part was I ran into Marshall Falk the next day when we were shooting the intros and stuff. He was still mad. Marshall <laughs> Falk was like, it's a good thing there were people there. I had to put hands on him. <laughs> you got to love it. Game one of wave three action here. A little bit more of the same. It's 73 to 19. We got Big Daddy Wizzy in the chat. He says that this is the best of three. I like Sage to win. Learn something after game one. <laughs> yeah, young Kiv in the chat. What's going on, Kiv? Gun, gun, gun. I hope you guys. I hope you guys were able to catch that mini mic. Hey, Tuesday, Pretty Tuesday, boy game Tuesday. because that was that was a game. That was a Madden game. at its finest. And what did I tell you? Gun, gun. And what did Rico not tell us? I thought it was going to be a good game. He thought it was going to be a two-score game. I was with you. I would just like to point out for everybody at home. I'm the only person here on this panel who's still perfect on his picks. Gun, gun. We have to go rewind. Yeah, 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 yeah. Come on, man. Whoa, whoa, Stop that. Whoa, 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 still perfect whoa, whoa. on the picks. I just want to point that out. Yeah, you'll just say anything up here sometimes, Nick. First, first and Oh, God. He's still looking for more. Okay, Ridley was just standing next to a cameraman. He really might cover the 85 and a half. This is no. bananas. If I Stop. was playing against Shaver, I would run the clock out if he got to 80 right here. If he gets what? to 80 right here. Heck yeah. There's no way. 21. I would have ended this game now. There's no way I'm letting you try to put up 80, dog. I don't need nobody's morale getting boosted that high on my account. What was the worst beating you ever took in Madden in a real game? RG. <laughs> Mark Dog hey, flooded Tuesday, me Tuesday. one year in like the final <laughs> like 32 or 16 yeah. of a Madden challenge. 21. It was like, it got ugly. I was not happy about it. In my defense, the next time I played him in MLG, I flooded him right back. But it wasn't until like two years later, so I had to hold that for two years. Oh no. All right, we got a pick. Might have saved the flood. Save. Might, might have saved Saving the it. over. You act like he's not about to throw a pick Fight right save. back. Sage, two o'clock. He can hear you. He's got it on. He's got it on. Let's go, Sage. Nah, he can he's hear you. He's, head he's fighting. He does not. Is he? Oh, no, he, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> I don't know. He's literally a foot and a half of us with, with the headphones, and Rico doesn't oh, understand oh, that he's Speaking of Dallas, my actual worst was at Nationals uh, back in the day. And what made it worse oh, is oh, oh. they were like eight-minute quarters. Oh, no. <laughs> 
if you look up, nationals with eight if you look up no answer in the dictionary you would see my face for q boy was that that was one of the, the Asian cat, right? yes yeah 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 oh he beat the brakes off i remember me. him he was oh good. he beat the brakes off me when we're talking beat the brakes are we talking 49 we talking Eight, he said eight minute quarters, Nick. It, oh, boy. <laughs> we shouldn't even make Rico say what number it might have been. We should, because just know. people want to know. I left the game in the third quarter. Yeah. Your no. opponent has left the game. The and, it, and it by far was the worst beating of my life I've taken. The best was certain dudes who wouldn't even mess around with their point differential. Like, you can show up to some of these tournaments, you go up 14, 17, nothing, dudes will just put oh, the controller down. Oh, Jaybird <laughs> with oh, the no. fumble work. Oh. Yeah, baby. Dudes and will just put the controller I, down and leave. Mo Walsh, Wayne Walton, Chuggy, of, they were all screaming. Wayne Walton, he's a Dallas guy. Yeah, actually, uh, Puddin, uh, Big Captain Puddin and all of them. Yeah. Big Puddin, I remember uh, seeing Big Puddin at the challenges. Yeah. What a great nickname. That Nick kind of looks like Big Puddin. I've eaten a big pudding. Doesn't he look like him yeah, a little they, bit, though? They could be play cousins. If he had the big pudding fitted hat on? Casey. Shout out to Casey. Actually, he lives in Dallas. He's a chef out here. Over the top. Got him. They're still going in at the on the KFCs and Popeyes. It's not okay. Look, my guy Stu, he says it's all about those spicy tenders at Popeyes and yeah. their size. The spicy tenders and rice. Popeyes. Are it's it's Popeyes, churches, Bojangles. I don't think I've had. I don't. I know I haven't had Bojangles. I've had churches. Churches got the biscuits, yeah. boys. Those honey covered. Them honey covered biscuits, dog. Raising canes. Best chicken fingers pound for pound in the, in, in the, in the world. world. Raising canes, raising canes and then everyone canes. else. Yeah, yeah. I, li I lived in Louisiana for a little oh, while, so I, I, I know. Tuesday, Tuesday, so Tuesday, Tuesday. If you never ate canes, you're missing out. Gun, gun, Shout out gun. to canes who might be watching. <laughs> raising canes. Oh, not that canes. Got it. What did you Ooh. get? Now, I, Caniac, no slaw, extra fries with an extra can sauce. All right, That's it's cool. at 80. We're looking at 80. Instead of the toast, you, you don't go with the extra toast? No, I get extra fries. I'm a fry guy. Rico knows this. I'm How a fry about guy. this? DN Prouder, he says Popeye sides with the KFC chicken. No. 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 Publix has better chicken. Whoa, Stu just lost all credibility. Uh oh. What did he say? Zaxby's over Kings. Nope. No. Now, here's what I will tell you, though. No, no. Zaxby's makes a mean chicken parm sandwich. Oh, no. Rico turned me on to Wawa's, and it's kind of ruined my life because there are none near me. Zaxby's makes a good chicken parm? It's, they use the tender, like the tenders, and the mozzarella, like it's a chicken it, tender. Here's the thing. Oh. In order for you to be a very good chicken palm, it needs to be thin cut. Pounded. 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 If you don't pound the cutlets and they're not thin hey. cutlets, Pounded, there's flash no fried. way it can be a world-class no. chicken palm. No. I grew up eating that and stuff. And see, here's my thing. I need chicken parm with some angel hair pasta. That's what. That's my jam. Oh, no. no All right. Here's the question of the day. You ready? Another question of the day. Here, this 80 to 19. It's only a 61-point game. You're by yourself, so there's nobody else to put their input in. Yeah. What is your go-to pizza toppings? Pepperoni. I'm that's it? I'm a straight pepperoni guy. I love by pepperoni. By myself? Yeah, no, no. Like, what is, so nobody else can influence your toppings. What are the toppings you would want? I might go pepperoni and bacon, but Depends I just what I'm kind of straight, mood I'm in, dog. I'm a straight pepperoni man. See, I, I get the crazy Nottos with it. pepperoni pizza from Columbus, Ohio. That's dog, my, I'll put my pepperoni. Jam. I'll throw some jalapeno <laughs> on there, some mushroom, maybe a little onion if I'm feeling feisty. Throw some crushed red pepper, some palm cheese. Oh, see, crushed red pepper and, and parmesan on dust. Yeah. Jalapeno, pineapple, bacon. That sounds pretty good. Stu bringing some heat. Got him. <laughs> Got him. All right, and all that touchdown did was make sure the there over is. comes in. There it is. The spread is on the line. 29 seconds. This is the guap drive. This is it. We, does does well, Jay Bird know that he needs the guap drive? I don't know if Jay knows. He looks discouraged like he wants to put up these points. We'll see. So I take it that means you're, you're a pineapple pizza fan. No, pineapple does not belong on pizza. Thank I can eat you. pineapple on pizza. No. So what, what is with people hating on pineapple on I pizza? It's not like I'm going out of my way for no, it. I can't but stand it. If, if it's there and well, there's a pie? Warm pineapple is all... Oh Wait a minute. That, You've never had grilled by, pineapple? By the way, that word was... <laughs> Here's the thing, though. If you've ever been to a good Brazilian steakhouse, they bring you the grilled pineapple, and it's phenomenal with a little cinnamon on it. Okay. At Fogo, I'm just staying on green. You can keep the pineapple. 
Let's go. Dang, rage like my guy rage like a boss said, you make me uh -oh. sick, RG. Uh-oh. Oh no. Uh-oh. Speaking of sick. Oh, and he got out. Let's go. Now, can you imagine being home in an 85 and a half? You're going crazy right now. You want to sit there. You're like, Vegas is in. The, the fix is in. The fix is in. You are, you're waiting for Scott Van Pelt to get on bad beats. Oh, that is bad beats to a T. Come on, Sage. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. Oh, man, 86 point spread. This is like Big Gene Sandman numbers back in the day. I hope Sage knows that he's going up against, like, a real Madden player. That would be OK, real. OK, so that you ready? You ready? If... NFL and NBA, give me a player that you would say Jay Bird is equivalent to in his talent level. What'd you say? What do you mean? Give me an NFL and an NBA example of a player do you think Jay Bird is equivalent to? <laughs> Fred Van Vliet. No, he's no. better than Van Vliet. Is he better than Don't be better than don't be hating Van on Vliet's Freddy. He's like the best in the league right now, the way he's playing. Van Vliet's not a top fifty player. Oh, that's a tough one. Daniel right. Marshall. No, no, I'm a current player. He can oh, make the pro ball. He can make the pro ball. I'm not saying he's like so a first. Give, a me, a no, the give pro me a quarterback ball. that he's equal to. Is he a Cam Newton? No. 